Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and today is something like a problematic topic because I'm kind of bound to make today a review of a product and uh, if I want to be honest I will probably never ever receive anything from that company again because what you will see in the, in the moment will be not optimistic enough review of a flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC I've presented you a few months ago that is called TTT RC F7 flight controller plus 4-in-1 ESC combo that can run up to 8S a lot of voltage really shitload of voltage more than 30 so yeah okay mm. I really would like to prefer to say that uh, it's amazing, like uh, outstanding, groundbreaking discovery and anything, uh, but I cannot. I would prefer to do it because that would mean I would get more money because of the affiliate links and ads and views and stuff like that. But all I can say that I don't want to say that this is a bad flight controller and 4-in-1 ESC. It's not like that. It's just not good enough. With the price tag at uh, around $110, it's more expensive than most of the foreign ones and FCs you can find anywhere. The fact that you can run 8S on it does not like really who's running 8S. Um, no idea really. Uh, no one I'm flying with and this is like the whole city. So hmm, let's say it's a problem. The whole... The ESC itself. The ESC itself can handle it is great, fantastic, outstanding, super. It's a good ESC. I was flying this thing on my 7-incher, like pushing really hard on the motors. It was fine, great. It's like a really a nice PCB, everything is where it's supposed to be, no strange things were happening. Uh, kind of nicely designed uh, board, it's great, it's fantastic, it's good to look at. The same applies to the flight controller over here I have, because it's a nice PCB, nice rubber grommets, it's uh, good build quality, but it's not, not, not really enough. What is exactly wrong with this thing? Focus, focus with this thing. Thing number one, it's all the design. Instead of using uh, F722, they decided to use F745, which is just too big and too expensive and really is not needed because you can get more out of smaller uh, F722 CPU, MCU, MCU, because there is more space on the board to connect everything you need. It's based on the Omnibus F7 design, that means there are only three or four serial ports, which kind of, in theory, it's a lot. But if you connect the SBUS, if you connect the telemetry over the smart port, if you connect, uh, I don't know, GPS, that's all. You cannot connect anything else. No. Because you're out of serial ports. So this is really a problem. Or oh, GPS command, what kind of GPS? You connect the VTX over smart audio or tram protocol and you're out of serial ports. While F722 boards give you four, five, six serial ports without absolutely any problems. Good thing. It has really a big uh, um, voltage stabilizers for LEDs. So we can call like a shitload of LEDs to this thing, but does it make it worth of the 110 bucks for this and this? Kinda like, uh, not exactly. Also, in the hands-on I said that it lacks the um, SD card slot. Uh, there is a space over here, but the actual connect the, the the bracket to hold that holds the SD card, the, the, the slot for the card was not soldered in. I thought no, probably right now we are not really tuning this thing, so it's really fine. So I'm, I was wrong. 
I was wrong because when I put this on the 7 incher, I really regretted that there is no SD card, so I cannot really see what's happening. Because, yes, 5 inches running on 4S flies perfectly in beta flight on default values. Perfectly. But 8S is not default. 6S is not default. You put this on 6 uh, incher, you 7 incher, and you have really absolutely no idea what's going on. In theory, you could try to connect external SD card uh, open lock to this, to record, but still, you have no serial ports. So, uh, I'm not saying that this is a bad fright controller. No, it's fine. It's good. Two years ago. Not now, because right now, with the price tag and with the competition that it's around, this is, it really makes no sense to buy this thing if you really don't have to run it on 8S. But if you really have to run it on 8S, you can only buy the, buy the ESC and run it on 8S and connect external voltage stabilizer to fit your flight controller with this voltage. So. I'm sorry, TTTRC, but um, I really cannot give this thing a good review. It's good that you are trying, but you, uh, from my perspective, you did not found really what's needed. I'm sorry, but this is the sad reality. I know you will never send me anything else. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not doing this for freebies because I would not have uh, anything to put into my mouth if this was <laughs> only about freebies. So, <sighs> too bad. Almost. Nice quality, but two years too late. Okay, maybe one and a half. A year too late. Not good enough for the current standards and definitely not with this price tag. With that said, uh, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.